I'll be honest. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, um, my name is Cameron and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way uh, to make a wing out of Corex or Coroplast, the uh, fluted type of this stuff, plastic. Cool, so this sheet of uh, Coroplast that I've got is about 120 centimeters long. So I'm gonna use that entire length and then it is about 60 centimeters Okay, so 15 over there and then I'm going to put in a centimeter for the fold and then I'm going to put in so 15 plus 1 for the fold plus an additional 15 which takes us to 31 and then I'll add another four. So we've got, so let me cut off that 35 centimeter strip. Can you see what I'm actually doing? Right. Okay, so we've got our wing strip here now. Um, so this is 35 centimeters by 120 centimeters. Uh, cool. Or should I say a four centimeter gap on this side for the control surface over here. Um, cool. So let me just draw that out the control surface will be cool so that is going to be the control surface and then here between the 15 and 16 we're going to have the fold for the leading edge Cool, so just gonna measure out 15 centimeters along the length for the fold. Then I'll grab some sort of a blunt object like this screwdriver. Uh, just to crease the length for the leading edge fold. Okay, so I've made the crease along the flute here at 15 centimeters, and uh, now it's nice and flexible, so I can easily bend it over. The longer side over here, the longer edge is going to be the top surface and the shorter edge will be the bottom surface. And what we'll do is we'll fold it over all the way onto itself. But before we get there, we're going to make a wing spar. Cool, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm cutting out the um, wing spar. So I'm going to use two strips and these so these strips are approximately two and a half uh, centimeters and I'm going to cut out two of these uh, these strip lengths to make the wing spars. 
going to be stuck together and then I'm going to use those as the wings pop. Okay, so then it's also very important just to measure your aircraft's uh, cord. So in this case it's 15 plus, we're actually going to have an additional 4, so 19 centimeters for the wing cord uh, to the from the leading edge to the trailing edge and you then have to calculate approximately 30 percent uh, into that for our maximum effective thickness so or in other words where we're going to place the wing spar so we'll calculate that and then make sure that we get the wing spar in the correct place so I'm going to actually use a carbon fiber spar. Um, it's only 55 centimeters, so about half of the wingspan. It's from a previous project that I crashed into the sea. Um, so, so this is my uh, leading edge over here. I then just measured in six centimeters for where the cord, uh, sorry, the spar is going to go. And then once that's glued in place, I'm going to fold over the the top surface of the wing and glue it down over here. That's the plan. What I'm actually going to do is with with the wing spar, I'm going to reinforce or add in these two strips just to give us a little bit of more camber for the actual wing curve. So I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. Cool, now I'm just going to draw some lines so that we can know where to glue. Right, so that's glued down. So now what we have got is the bottom part of the wing with the uh, spar, carbon fiber spar and then these boxes just to create a bit of camber and then what we're going to do is obviously fold the wing over itself that there we are cool so that's going to look something like that and then we're going to stick that down. Very basic design, um, actually Flight Test uses this design if you haven't checked them out uh, look for Flight Test on YouTube and they use these sort of uh, square type aerofoil designs works great for RC applications. Cool, so now what we're going to do is glue down the top surface of the wing and then what I'll do is I'll use this stage just to push it down and apply some pressure there. Okay, let's do it. Just right on the edge there. Cool. So let's have a look. How does it look? Yeah, alright, so there we go. Got most of the wing structure in place. It's fairly rigid, I mean it's not gonna really bend at all. And um that's what it looks like at the bottom with the fold over there. So now all we have to do 
is cut some space for the control surfaces. About a 40 centimeter uh, aileron on each end. And now we just have to cut those free. I'm just gonna cut these ailerons free just through one layer, just the top layer of the wing surface. And then cut all the way through. Same on the other side. And I'm just cutting off a little bit on the inside over here uh, just to create some space for that aileron to move nicely. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly cut off a little bit um, of the excess corex on the top just so that the aileron can move nicely. Cool, so that's the ailerons done. Both ailerons now have nice motion. I decided to go 40 centimeter ailerons and they are approximately three centimeters. 40, 40 centimeters by three centimeters for the ailerons, cool. So now all that remains is for us to decide where we want to put the servos. Um, I'm most Probably, I can find my servos somewhere around here and uh, countersink them into the low surface of the wing. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Then I'll run the, I can run the leads inside of the wing because there's nice space in there, as you can see. And then we are A4 away. Cool, that's it. So that's pretty much how to make a very simple uh, Corex wing for an RC aircraft, um, 120 centimeters wingspan by about 20 centimeters wing cord. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. Um, I'll be uploading similar videos in the future. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon.